Hello all, welcome to Oracle Fusion Hub's ADF tutorials. As part of ADF mobile tutorials, uh, we have uh, been discussing about uh, uh, the development of uh, Android applications, specifically Android applications in um, ADF mobile. Um, uh, the last two sessions were about uh, testing ADF mobile on Android emulator or uh, on the real device itself. The pain point here is about the testing, the, the slowness of Android emulator. Uh, normally um, on, on a 4GB RAM system, it was taking about uh, 15 to 20 minutes uh, for us to uh, test Android application on an emulator. It's the same way when you are deploying that application into a real device. So in this session, uh, our focus is about uh, alternate ways of uh, deploying applications in a very less time. In earlier sessions, we we have discussed about uh, deploying uh, Android applications to Android emulator in the release mode, in spite of having debug mode. So that was at least um, what I call saving enough time, probably like 10-15 minutes. But uh, uh, in this particular video, uh, I would be showing you uh, about uh, uh, an, an application, uh, a, a JVM actually, and uh, it is it is called Andro VM. So uh, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to install this Andro VM and uh, I, I'm going to show you like how we can uh, deploy our applications uh, into uh, into Android emulator in a, in a, in a uh, faster manner. So the first thing that you need to go is you have to go to androvm.org slash blog whatever and uh, this should only be androvm.org okay here in uh, androvm.org uh, go to download link and uh, download the latest uh, ova file and uh, uh, since it is talking about uh, uh, Android VM that has been switched to Jenny Motion, uh, we have to sign up uh, uh, at that particular link to download the new virtual image. But currently, I have tested with Android VM uh, VBox 860TP uh, double2.ova, and it was working fine for me. So I I downloaded this particular uh, VBox 86TP version and uh, I, sh I shall show you this is the version um, that we have Andro VM um, V2X dot OVA and uh, um, in order to run this particular OAVA or we in order to import this particular appliance we need to have a virtual box installed on our machines so uh, uh, in order to install virtual machine just click on uh, just google for article vm virtual box and then uh, uh, here in the download section you can uh, download uh, uh, the installer and uh, since I am I am on uh, OS X host, I have installed uh, this x86 AMD 64 uh, virtual for virtual box 4.2.18 for OS X host. If you are on uh, uh, PC uh, Windows host, then you can uh, install this particular version. If you are on Linux, then uh, you have a different virtual box versions. And uh, once you have uh, installed the uh, virtual box you can run uh, virtual box and uh, here um, since I have already uh, uh, imported this I am going to show you like how I can uh, import to that appliance so click on file and uh, click on import appliance and uh, here click on open appliance 
and uh, in the downloads you have this ada andro vm dot uh, ova file you can click on open and uh, it shall uh, um, uh, just import the appliance since i have already done that this is how it looks like and here uh, there is a bit of configuration that we need to do in order to proceed further the problem with this uh, uh, andro vm is uh, about the network settings so um, you have to uh, make sure that uh, you you uh, give attached to adopter as bridge adopter and then um, this uh, you you have to make sure that you are connected to wi-fi if you are connected to wi-fi if you are connected to ethernet then you can connect to ethernet but that's okay so so mostly we are using our wi-fi routers and also uh, probably you will also be connecting to en1 wi-fi and apart from that there is nothing click on ok and then um, you have your uh, android emulator jvm ready to run so once you have done all these settings just click on start and uh, click on ok and uh, the system shall reboot shall shall boot up and uh, this is particularly faster uh, uh, when compared to the real android emulator and uh, see how fast it is it took only around uh, uh, 10 seconds or 15 seconds uh, to boot uh, so so even um, uh, when i click on it it's like it's also faster okay now i have uh, android emulator running on my machine so how am i going to deploy my applications uh, to this android jvm for that um, currently i'm not running jvm i mean i'm not running j developer because uh, for this session uh, we don't need j developer to run actually so go to terminal um, since i'm working and I'm, I'm, I'm showing this on uh, mac uh, the the way that you do on pieces might differ uh, uh, a little bit but uh, the logic and uh, the the way we do will be uh, more or less similar so in the terminal when when, when you're on windows machine you have to go to uh, the uh, command uh, line uh, okay now uh, uh, i'm in uh, terminal and uh, I am at uh, the Android SDK um, path, Android SDK, Mac OS X and platform tools. You should be going to platform tools folder. The reason why we are going to platform tools folder is because we are going to run uh, a, a list, a, a few, a couple of um, uh, ADB uh, commands. So these ADB commands should be run from where uh, that ADB executable is there. So uh, in, in platform tools, you have this ADB executable. So that's the reason why we are going to platform tools. And uh, uh, if, if somebody is wondering like how we are installing Android emulator, you can uh, go back to my previous tutorials where I have uh, shown you like how to uh, install Android emulator and stuff like that. Okay, now you are in Android emulator, I mean Android emulator platform tools folder. Um, you can actually connect to this uh, uh, Android Andro VM uh, folder, I mean Andro VM machine. And the way you connect to this is uh, you have to know the IP address uh, to which uh, this Android VM is getting connected to. So uh, for that what you have to do is you have to go to Android VM configuration and uh, look for the IP that it is getting connected to. Uh, for my machine it is 192.168.1.4 so I can use that uh, uh, for uh, do you want reboot? No. Okay. To connect. Okay. Now I am here and uh, the command I should be using is and IDB slash connect I mean space connect 192.168.1.4 and uh, it says already connected to uh, this this particular because I have already connected to that uh, um, Android J JVM Android VM before uh, uh, I started this tutorial 
so uh, since i have already connected to this i need to find the apk file to deploy uh, uh, into the um, an android emulator in order for me to do that i shall go to my existing projects and find out the apk that uh, i can use for so for that what you have to do is you have to go to your uh, uh, j developer my work location and uh, uh, i have like a uh, few uh, projects here and uh, i'm not sure which project i will be uh, really working or not so i am i hope uh, hr app would be you know hr app i have uh, uh, created a deployment for it in hello world i have a deploy folder that means i have already deployed it to the machine so uh, i shall uh, i shall go to the android uh, device and here i have this uh, android hello world dot apk and uh, i would be installing uh, i mean i would be deploying this to the android vm the way to do that is uh, you have to get the full file path of this particular uh, file and that would be this and then hello world dot apk so uh, it would be adb space install space the file path slash and then hello world dot apk and i'm going to cut this off i'm going to i'm going to connect back and uh, now i'm going to install this see the installation has been successful and it took less than 2 3 seconds at max and you got your application deployed to the android vm hello world this is blazingly fast faster enough to resolve most of your issues i mean since we in order we we do area of mobile or any kind of development in an iterative way and uh, we mostly uh, uh, tend to do multiple uh, 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 connection multiple uh, what do you call the iterative development uh, so uh, testing would be uh, very easy for i mean using this particular uh, uh, android vm jvm and uh, um, currently uh, i think my uh, uh, project uh, whatever that project we have this is having a little buggy so uh, i might not be able to show you the uh, real working uh, uh, for this but uh, um, ideally when when you are develop deploying your uh, uh, application to uh, android vm in, in in this way then uh, you should be able to run it that's it thank you from my side hope you uh, enjoyed the tutorial thank you very much